G'day folks and welcome back to the channel for episode number 12 of our Chaos Warlock playthrough. Uh, in between episodes I just cleaned up the inventory a little bit and uh, spent one point in physique. So we're now up to 41 in physique and 10 in spirit. Uh, we've also got five skill points to spend and this is kind of the important part of having a plan and occasionally checking it. Um, so what I had been planning on doing uh, in the last episode was just going straight to 50 and getting my hands on possession, which is not a horrible idea. However, we do have all these lovely MIs just kind of hanging out that add a bunch of stuff to Sigil of Consumption. And we could have that. Just one point. Um, so really there's no reason not to get that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one point in there. I'm also going to take a point in Blood of Drig just for the healing and the offensive stuff. These are the two skills we're going to be, well, three and maybe four later. Uh, we're actually going to be using as an occultist. And so I'm kind of going to add them back into the rotation. Now, I like to put my healing spells on button four. And I definitely want to get, let's say, eight points in Blood of Drig and another, well, all of the points into Aspect of the Guardian. I do want to max out Sigil of Consumption. I do want to max out Destruction. I do want to max out Possession. Um, but we don't really have the skills for those, or the points for it, rather. But getting one, at least one point here gets us a little heal, and Aspect of the Guardian means we get to basically ignore Poison and Acid Resistance, and we get a bunch of Physical Resistance. I think it's something either 15 or 18% with, uh, with full points in this. So this is definitely something I want. And more damage on the sigil is also kind of something I want. So that's what I'm doing now. And I did consult the plan. And I'm pretty sure this goes to 8. This gets max. This gets max. This gets max. Then this. And um, we'll just keep putting points in the bar as well. So that's the plan. Um, I would like a different Rylock mark, shall we say. Um, I want one with a little bit more in the way of resistances, so as I can replace that Mark of Havel. For today, though, uh, let's just go ahead and, uh, and destroy this ethereal city. So we can... I think I'm going to stop using Haunt. Or at least I want to put Sigil of Consumption there, and we'll check Haunt there. So the Sigil at the moment is just a bit of chaos damage. Um, it doesn't do huge amounts of damage, but we are adding a lot of flat chaos damage from the weapon. We're also converting the fire damage that we don't have yet to chaos. Um, and I think we're converting the, uh, the vitality as well. 49% of the vitality is converted, so a decent amount. And we will get, um, better, shall we say, Bloodsworn Scepters. Um, as we go through the, the playthrough as well. Alright, let's clear up a few of these. I ran through a few packs now, so there's a nice little train of XP following us. And we may as well pop this chest. Shiny looking chests usually have a uh, decent amount of iron bits in them. Right. Um, as far as allies from the city of Malmoth, um, I don't think there's any that I'm interested in. I would have to double check, but I'm pretty sure the only thing I want from this city is the reputation to buy um, reputation gear from um, from the resistance. Because they do have uh, heavy armor with chaos damage on it, which is kind of what I'm aiming for. Okay, this corner here can be a little bit rippy sometimes. Usually it's not, but can be. Um, we are here for these arcane supplies, which apparently I can't click on because this idiot's in the way. So we'll grab those. And I'm kind of curious how much lifesteal we're getting from the sigil now. Because we get 18% with two points, which is decent. And we're adding a lot of chaos damage from our weapon. So I think it should be a decent amount of leech. Let's just see if we can stand in this and not die. 
Um, these things are dying. Not amazingly fast, but they are dying. So it seems like it's uh, a good idea to have picked that up. Now, you may have just noticed there that um, I actually did not have Blood of Dree active there, and that's why I prefer not to rely on it for my resistances. So I'm most likely going to pretend that that um, I need to get Poison Resist capped without it, because, like we just saw there, I have a bad habit of not using it, except when I'm talking about it. <laughs> um, so I want to have my resistances under control without the, um, without Aspect of the Guardian. Um, right, let's send her off to town, and uh, old mate here wants to die in the street, so we can, we can leave him to die in the street as he wishes. Alrighty, so the next little corner here is one that I like to point out for anyone who's playing through this section their first time. Now, usually when I say this, it doesn't happen, and so I kind of look silly because it doesn't happen. But um, this next corner up these stairs here is one of the most dangerous places in this entire city. And I'll show you why, or at least I hope I can show you why. Let's just wait here. So we've already got a pack of of heroes, or a hero with a pack, crawling out of the ground. You got all of these mages come pouring out of this building. Then you got a whole bunch of other stuff here because of this quest. Now, oh, I've also got Fleshweaver Heraxis. Okay, good. So this is, I guess, kind of the worst it's going to be. Although, to be fair, I did kill a bunch of this before I walked up here. So just be aware that you can get very large amounts of monsters on this corner here and then also have them come pouring out of the street and crawling their way out of the ground behind you if you uh, if you run past this too quick. So be aware of that and uh, and don't lose your hardcore characters like I have in the past. Um, Iskandra's is a plus one to Arcanist Relic. Um, what do we need for that? Haunt is actually a component of this. Now, the Haunt Relic itself, I seem to remember saying that it's basically just plus one to all skills in Arcanus that I care about on this. Um, the active ability there is kind of okay. The Vitality Resistant Shred we are using, and the Fumble and Impaired Aim is kind of useful. But mostly, it's just for the plus one. Now, this has plus one, also has total speed, also has minus skill energy cost. Uh, the issue with making this is it needs nine manticore eyes, which I pretty much guarantee you I have like one, maybe. So I can't make this. And it's not the one I want. So the one I want is uh, Aggravix's Malice, which is a level 60 relic, same as this one. So I could be getting the blueprint for it. Um, so that probably is a slight upgrade. But I'm also not going to make that one. Okay, so since we've already killed, uh, I think his name is Heraxis, but the, the guy with the skull above his head, just on this corner here, we've already killed him, so I don't have to worry about him around this next corner. Um, there's a couple different places he can spawn. Usually he'll be either on that corner where he just was, or he'll be here with the free dynamite which is very conveniently placed right next to um, a dynamite site, which we can see just here. So one dynamite, conveniently located just around the corner. Very, very secure door, this one, with the key to open it literally right next to it. Uh, but we do get Richter's stash, which is a guaranteed blue or better item. Uh, looks like I'm not going to be using them. Um, I definitely need to get some better, I mean, if nothing else, jewelry. Jewelry is where I usually fix my resistances. Um, a lot of classes, though, when you get your plus one skills amulet, it most of the time you're not going to have any resistances on it because you farmed for of the grove. 
So if you didn't do that and you're sitting there with one that doesn't have of the grove but does have a decent chunk of resistances, guess you can be a little bit smug. Um, mine doesn't have resistances, which basically means I have to catch up on resistances somewhere else. And normally I would have spent a little bit of time either vendor shopping rings or um, farming Golos for his rings. Or any of the other MI rings. Um, Bloodsworn signets for pets, mostly. I, I wouldn't use them for non-pet builds. Um, unless I just got one to, to drop accidentally. Um, Golos, generally speaking, is going to be the better option for most builds. Um, the blue rings, I, I tend not to use the blue rings because they're low on resistances and I want to fix resistance issues with my rings. But if there's one that you like, for example, the Roari have a semi-decent one at level 40. Um, I forget exactly what it's called, but it's, uh, it's got chaos damage on it and some plus skills for, I think, things we're not using. I think it's, um, I think you get skills for Salel's Witch Fire on that one. It's been a while. So yeah, I need to get some new rings. I need to get a lot of new stuff. Hopefully we'll get a nice purple ring for finishing the expansion here. I'm not going to hold my breath, but it would be nice. Alright, we do have another Exalted stash coming up just around the corner here as well. So potentially a nice blue ring. Or even potentially a purple one, I don't know. Maybe it wants to drop me a purple item, that'd be good. Let's drop a portal here, and we'll run across the bridge. Alright, I'm gonna drop a sigil. I'm actually gonna remember to use the... Um, the haunt, and also Blood of Dreg, although it doesn't actually provide much other than the heal at the moment. But, it's good to have active anyway. Alright, everybody's dead. Let's blow the door. And get us some XP. Okay, so here's Olgrim, and we will of course take care of the vents for you. No problems at all. But first, uh, there's some loot I have to go collect. So, just down here, uh, there is a... It's not really hidden, but... It's not something you would find if you were just following the quests. So this exalted stash here, um, Shadow Spine Enforcer is a gun, which means it's not very good for this build, especially since it's a physical piercing cold gun, um, which is yeah not very good. Did just notice that the um, the white pants or the the base for the pants is now pretty good on armor so we can maybe replace those blues with a better pair of pants that happen to have um, more resistances on it that would be nice to do all right let's just clear the street out here and then we'll go and talk to what's his face i don't know why i thought it was ivanda over there she i think she's back at the camp already all right, let's send them back to camp, and we're pretty much done here. The other thing I do want to do before I move on, though, is go to the lighthouse, because there is a devotion shrine in there, and I still want devotion points. I'm probably not going to get all 49 that are available in normal before I move on. Um, probably sort of low 40s, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. I may end up getting all of them. There's absolutely no reason not to go get this, though. It's not free, but it's it's kind of free. Alright, so we've got some friends here. We can just walk pretty much straight past them. If I get the bounty that needs flesh shapers, someone remind me that there's three of them outside the door here. Okay, there is also... Um, bunch of flesh shapers in here too. Uh, there is a another of the um, the hero boss type 
flesh shape is in here so we had flesh shape of Heraxis and the other one of them is in here um, is that him yep Inicius interesting name so it looks like we get to kill him as well um, his MI is the Hellhound pet book so offhand for occultist pet builds I know this because I killed him millions of times before I realized that you could actually just um, go buy that offhand from not not from Hiram I don't think uh, no it would be it would be Hiram yeah but you can just buy his MI which did he drop it I don't think he even dropped it oh no that one perhaps he has I think two or three of them this one is Albrecht's Aether Ray um, and Sigil of Consumption so if we wanted to do um, Aether uh, Sigil we could do that we're not doing that we're doing Chaos but we could do Aether all right let's go ahead and blow these guys up devotion points um, we're pretty much just getting blue affinities at this point so we're not going to get anything too fancy here uh, of the Cabal no respect of the Drangle no okay that's fine so we finish no we don't finish the eel but we get a little bit more avoidance some defensive ability um, the next one is kind of well I'm not going to say it's it's the money devotion because if this is money, then whoever made it is broke. Um, but it is the good one of the constellation. So we'll get that. Then we'll get the the lizard here. We'll start working on the Solemn Watcher. Uh, at this point as well, we could... Let's actually put that back on. There's a lot of consumption. Um, we could start looking at the bat, which we will be taking later. And we're converting half of it to chaos already. But... Um, I think we'll get the blue stuff first let's let's go for tank over gank and let's turn some quests in as well what's next yes absolutely i will do whatever that was yes your quests are very important to me that's why i take the time to read all of them sometimes um let's sell all this stiff And then we'll go bash some geysers, or vents, I guess they are. What was that ring? I don't think I'm... No, it's a pet ring. Um, so we're looking at... Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. Void pauldrons. So this is one of the ones I was looking at. Plus two to possession is not going to be useful to us just yet. But the armor on this is really nice. Um, level 65... Is not amazing, but it's, it's decent. And then the, the Dread Cask here is also quite good for damage, and it's no slouch on defenses either. So uh, Void Pauldrons, Void Karas, and then Dread Cask are the three that I will be using, assuming I don't find something better. Um, those boots, do I actually need them? Don't think so. Was that even the ones I sold? These ones have different resistances, but they're also... They're not great. I think we can sell those. That's fine. Um, while we're here, let's actually... Hang on, where are we up to with Black Legion? So the Black Legion... Do have some boots that I'm interested in. I have a feeling they're going to want Honored before I can have them. But I do want to go check. Uh, the Black Legion boots are decently good defensively. I think it's high armor and physical resistance. Um, these ones. Physical resistance, much better armor. Um, we will lose 10% Chaos Res, which is not great, but we're doing it. Uh, the armor on these alone is worth doing. And that leaves our helmet as our next sort of weakest point. Now, this helmet, I think, may actually be pretty good. The, the issue is, it's hard to argue with plus three to Maven Sphere and also 15% increased armor for everything else. Um, 
But I think I'm going to do that. We get a cool sort of witch hunter hat. We get the sigil of consumption when we're hit. So none of this MI stuff applies to this sigil of consumption. So this one will be doing exactly what it says. You can't modify it with, with anything else. Uh, however, because of... I can't, I can't really point it out here, but the 49% vitality converted to chaos, because that doesn't say it applies to a specific skill, that's a global conversion. So about half of the vitality damage on this sigil will be converted to chaos. So it's pretty good. Um... Let's see if they have anything else that's good here. I'm not really expecting anything good, um, but maybe. I think that's it. That's fine. I was mostly here for the boots, so um, I'll take the hat as well, though. And then in in Elite, I think I'll maybe update this MI. Uh, let's keep the add on. Put it back on that hat. And we'll keep the add-on here as well. Back on there. Resistances are now all capped. We got a nice new proc out of this. And uh, it's all looking good. Everything's coming up Millhouse. Right, let's get some vents. Um, let's also try and remember to use that. Now this little section here is also... Uh, a little bit crazy at times. Mostly on higher difficulties. I'm not expecting huge amounts of ethereals here. There's a decent amount, but not, not all of them are going to be here. Alright, we'll chuck a few more seals down. And I'm starting to notice the beam turn off occasionally, which I'm, I'm thinking that's going to be stuns. There's our proc sigil there. Good stuff. It's basically free damage. And like I said, with, with half of it being converted to chaos, um, all of our chaos scaling is applied to it, which is really good. So if I could get another piece or three that does that, I would be very happy. I think you can get um, sigil of consumption procs on main and off hands, but not armor. That's, that sounds right, but don't quote me on it. I definitely would have to check. But, um... Really good procs, if you can get them. Alright, let's go ahead and pop this Devotion Shrine. Because Daddy needs some new Devotion Points. Flame Torrent level up, very nice. Um, also, with regards to this, this this doesn't... Hello? Oh. Uh, I'll come right back to that. Let's just... Uh, let's take care of Valexteria here first. Um, I thought that was her big meteor, so I dodged. That's... Ow. That's her big meteor that I should have dodged. Although it does seem like she's not really doing huge amounts of damage, so maybe I don't care. All right. What do we got here? This is low armor, skill points I don't care about, resistances I don't really need, so we'll pick that up and we're going to sell it. Um, piercing bleeding elemental on a ring. Yes, but also no. Um, I do need those, but I think I need the... Um, what was that resonant? I need the poison res on the Golas ring more than I need the other, the piercing and the bleeding. So that's fine. I definitely want to get another Rylock mark though. I might have to go and farm one of those in between episodes. Or at least farm up a couple. Find some other way of getting resistances. Gearing up while leveling is, is like this constant never ending juggling act. Which is kind of fun but also Kinda not, if that makes sense. It's fun, but I also wish it was already done so I didn't have to do it. Alright, can see the next of the... Uh, the next of the vents just there. And I'm gonna drop a portal just here. 
outside of this. I'll probably clear this by accident, not even thinking about it. Um, let's be honest, it's even likely that I'm going to do that. But um, if I don't, it will provide a nice shortcut to get back here. And now the third vent is sort of along the northwest edge of the town. The city, I guess. I don't know, it's a very small city, isn't it? It feels big when you're just kind of here, but if you look at how much area it actually covers, it's not that much. Okay, I'm seeing that totem there. I'm definitely going to do that. Here we go. This was Forsaken. Forsaken. Alright, let's go ahead and pop some extra buttons here, and then use the Beam of Death, Beam of Doom, to kill the rest of them. Okay, Grasp of Unchained Might, not for us, but still kind of okay for gloves, um, and I don't think I want any of these either. Uh, Defilers, no. Liches of the Boar? Alright, so we've got Pierce Poison Vitality. Small numbers though, so no. Um, let's go ahead and eat these just so we don't get them again. And these could be decent to use just because of the armor value. The bonuses on them are, well, the they're bonuses. <laughs> um, is there a conversion on that? There's not. I mean, the proc is okay. If I had the uh, the perdition. Well, actually, I probably wouldn't use Perdition Helmet or Shoulders. Um, the proc on this is good. The resists are actually quite bad, but the gloves we have are also quite bad for resistances. So, it could be worth using those. They're, they're actually decent for this build. They're, they're definitely not best in slot or anything like that. Um, I'm going the wrong way. I want downstairs. Uh, but the proc isn't bad, the attack and cast speed, well, specifically the cast speed, is pretty useful for this build as well. It's a good way to uh, make sure you're draining your energy bar extra fast. So I may end up using those gloves, actually. Okay, what do we got? Oblivion. So this is chaos stuff. What do we got? Flat chaos is useless. Percent chaos is good. That is a huge pile of spirit, which is nice. Energy regen, cast speed... A little bit of Chaos Res, damage to Chthonics, and then Oblivion. Granted by item. That is a spell I would have to cast. Um, what are we looking at here? 16 meter range. This might just straight up be a replacement for um, Albrecht's Aether Ray. It's also not the one I want, so we're probably not going to even make it. But it would be thematic. Okay, final vent is dead. Now we have to walk back to the rift. Because I've remembered that I have a, uh, a personal rift down. Um, let's, oh, hello. You look like someone I want to point a red laser beam at. Pavros Undylan. Undylan? Flame speaker. Okay. Sure, why not? Let's see if we can't line them both up here. Here's the uh, Aether Tornadoes that everybody loves so much. So you can run away from these, but they will chase you. And um, you can't really do much other than run away. Okay, we'll kill off the little guys. Leave the big ones. This, this is a juicy group. So we've got Haunt on all of these guys. It spreads like, um, I guess, like bloody pox. I wonder if there's a build idea there. Play as a Kabbalist, use Ill Omen, bloody pox, Haunt. Um, I think there's a Morganeth's boots, I think. 
are um have another element on them. Wonder if you could do something with that. Probably be rubbish, but you know, could be fun. It used to be really good because you would use um ill omen from the necromancer, would cause fear, so everyone would run all over the place, and then you'd put um bloody pox on them and they would carry the pox with them and <laughs> so you could infect huge rooms full of people pretty sure that interaction doesn't work so well anymore so we've just hit respected with the um the mammoth resistance um i think we're just gonna go kill theoden uh, i don't see any reason not to Plenty of time left, so we'll just go kill him, I think. It's going to be fun. Um, I think only his second form has a Sunder. And we leech enough that we should just be able to face tank him. Resistances are all fine. I'll probably drink a potion anyway. Uh, just so as I have a little bit extra. I don't think he shreds resistances, but just on the off chance. Something, something safe than sorry. There are too many people in this room. Alright. I don't really need this, but, you know, I kind of need this. Of Spectres. Okay. Spectral Vortex. I think that was an offhand, wasn't it? Yeah. Wouldn't mind getting a, um... Pulsing Shard with a Chaos Damage proc on it. Pretty sure that would require a trip to, uh, Port Valbury. To farm the, the vendor there, and that's a very long run to reset him as well. Alright, that'll do us. This little area here is good to check because there's often a hero mage here. Alright, let's just skip through all this. What are we up to? 52. And I have skill points. I think I'm going to go one in the bar and an extra one in the heal. I'm going to prioritize the healing over the uh, the damage. Although I guess the damage is healing as well, so maybe I'll alternate. Oh, hello. Hagelvar's here. Wasn't expecting you yet. It's not a big idea. Uh, it's not a big deal. We'll take care of him now. Save us finding him later. Okay, down he goes. We've got Annihilation. Demolitionist with a Meteor proc, so... I definitely remember making that with the uh, Purifier. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. The proc is just one Meteor, which is... I mean, it works, but it would be so much more fun if it was multiple. Alright, so we're killing Krieg a second time here. And I'm not really expecting any issues from him. It's a definite maybe. There's a Sunder. Uh, apparently he missed. I didn't dodge, so I'm not sure what's going on there. There he goes. Uh, the Glyph of the Ravenous Wendigo is Bleeding and Vitality. So we could do... We could use that. It's basically a Vitality converted to Chaos because of our weapon. Um, so it would be Vitality, Chaos, and uh, Bleeding. So it could be good. Um, metal? No. No. Definitely need to go get some some better rings and a better um, Rylox mark. Okay, so we've just got to find the other star on the map. Don't have to worry about anything terribly inconvenient like um, Archmage Alexander. Here he is. Beautiful. Barely had to even go looking for him. Alright, so we've got uh, Rudalga, the Flesh Collector here. Uh, use the Haunt on him. Kill off his friends. It's all going to be gravy. I'm going to check that um, sigil on my helmet. Uh, does this leech life as well? It does. So the other thing we could do as well here is we could take this... Um, Excuse me one moment. We take this scaled hide 
off of our chest and put it on our shoulders. Now, that would uncap both bleeding and piercing, so I'm not going to do it. But we could put Kilrian Soul on here. Um, that is a fire and vitality proc on a component. And we would convert the vitality, so that could be good. Um, what does this actually do? Three to destruction. Okay, I definitely need to get one of those. And a bunch more vitality damage. So because that is applied directly to the skill, um, it's all going to be converted, which is really nice. Uh, all of it is going to be converted? No, half of it. 49% of it is going to be converted. So that's, uh, what, 390-odd extra chaos damage, which is pretty good. I, I definitely... Definitely need to get some chaos res from somewhere else. And vitality as well. I think I can get away with using this for this boss. I don't know if I want to risk it though. <laughs> Alright, uh, before we go in, let's go raid the bank, see if I have a, a um, an aether, um, aether potion, which I'm 99% I'm sure I do. I'm just going to grab that and, and drink it. These, I'm seriously tempted to just put them on. That extra armor is is very, very nice. Um, and who did we get? It was Black Legions just hit Honored. Honored. Okay, before we do anything else, don't clear the rift. Do not clear your personal rift. It's a very long walk. Don't do it. Hopefully I can remember. Uh, the first thing we need to do when Black Legion hits Honored, immediately stop everything, go by the writ. I'll give you a good price on what got left. Um, and we get access to these things, which probably not going to be super amazing. Um, if nothing else, we can get 10% more damage to Aether Corruptions. Uh, but I do want maybe some offensive ability would be good we could get what's that 36 there chaos and vitality damage okay sold um i don't think i even really need to look at the rest and that's a, yeah nope all right beautiful so we'll check that onto these um, the extra damage is its kind of nice, 50% extra is nice, but the offensive ability is also really good. And we'll go ahead and eat that. Uh, can I swap these? I think at the moment I can't. I think I actually need a replacement chest as well, so it's a good thing that I sold that Dark Flame, whatever it was. Um, definitely not regretting selling that at all, not even a little bit. Okay, and here is my spirit bane. May as well get a little bit of extra health. Get some regen, why not? Why not? Um, yep, sure. Oops, I think I just wasted one of those. Um, and if you remember, I think the last episode, it may have been, may have been the one before that, but the... Mammoth Resistance sells a, I think they call them Tinctures, which will let me do bonus damage to Ethereals, I think it was. Glacia, Fortress, eh. Yeah, I don't want any of that. Alright. This one, Aether Ward Oil. 10% increased damage. Let's just, um, just grab a few of those. Oh, I have to actually... Do it properly. Aether water oil. Lovely. Let's go kill as a boss. So Theoden here is going to have three forms. The second one I believe is the only one that sunders. Uh, or is it the third one? Puts a pool on the floor anyway. Don't stand in the pool. That's basically the gist of this fight. Alright. Put that on him. Put that on the floor. Turn the beam on. And kind of just wait. Wait. 
we are doing enough damage that the health bar is definitely not moving. Energy bar is going down slower than his health bar. Does look like we're a little bit low on damage compared to some other builds I've done. Um, often he'll be dead before any of this extra stuff shows up. It's not really a big deal. Okay, so he's going to drag himself off the wall here. And that's fine. Let him wander over and take a few swings at us. Alright. Now, like I said, only one of his forms sunders. I'm pretty sure it's not this one. Um, let's go ahead and use this extra damage potion. We get 30 seconds. Again, we're leeching enough that... Oh, hello. That's a sunder. Doesn't appear to matter. So actually, there are his second and his third form will sunder, because this guy definitely does. Okay, here we go. So when he jumps in the air and lands, the pool that gets formed on the ground definitely sunders. Um, do I care about that? I, it seems like no is the answer. That. That is going to sunder. It does seem that, uh... Yeah, see, there's a sunder. So he's talking over himself. I'm pretty sure that's a thing that crazy people do. Oh, and I just dodged into his pool. Um, but yeah, it does seem like even though our damage is not stellar, uh, we are leeching enough that it just it doesn't really seem to matter. There we go. So that changes nothing, even though he's dead. Let's have a look at the loot. Stormclaw's Circlet, not great. Menhir's Bastion, also not great. Um, soldier Relic, basically, and not even the good one. Can we get something better out of these? Uh, no. Not yet, at least. Last chance for redemption. Nope. We just get nothing out of this. That's alright, though. Uh, we had to kill him for uh, the quest anyway. So... I think the only thing we have left is maybe the Black Iron Docks. Let's go find out. We will get some nice, well, I hope nice, loot out of that. Uh, let's go ahead and tell Revere the uh, the good news. Um, and I've destroyed the factory. A couple of components there. The more important part is the uh, XP. I think I'm just, just going to bring this up to uh, to 8 points. So we'll be getting some offensive ability out of that, and it is a decent heal. Uh, let's see what we can sell. Pretty much everything. Inquisitor Creed. Alright, what do we get? The Fate Weaver's Mantle. Well, if that isn't rubbish. <laughs> okay. It's not, it's not rubbish. It isn't rubbish. Uh, it's just not for this build. Um, the flat Aether damage is good for Aether builds for sure. Elemental resistances, elemental damage, it's all good stuff. Plus three to mirror is kind of eh. Plus two to nullification, also kind of eh. And um, the death save on that is quite good though. 100% physical resistance, 200% pierce resistance. Okay, I'm not sure what you would ever need 200% pierce res for. Um, but that is a lot of armor on that, and it's a level 50 legendary, so I'll hang on to it. I may end up using it. I'm gonna th think probably not, but it's definitely possible. Um, I guess we can't keep that because it's a faction item. Did we get any anyone else to honored? Homestead is honored, so I need to go back to Homestead. Uh, looks like we don't have enough reputation with the Mammoth Resistance to get the Black Iron Docks quest yet. So let's uh, let's go kill Gullus. 
see if we can't get a ring. And we'll see how we are for time. I may go and get a uh, another or a different ring as well. We'll see how we go. I think probably Gollus is the way to go, though. Um, so Homestead, we'll grab that. What do we get out of them? So this is all weapons, weapons, weapons. Yeah, okay. None of this is going to be useful. Soul Waste Guard of Shaman. That's a shield. Yep. How are we doing for Devil's Crossing? We're just at Respected. So once you get to, to Honored, you get the first set of um, Augments. And they're usually mm, not great. But um, some of them are for um, Jewelry. So you can pick up, you know, 10% Elemental Resistance here. Another 10% on, on that one. And, and some Vitality on your Amulet and stuff like that. You can get some resistances out of that. So it's not all bad news. Alright, so I'm going to go find Gollus. Um, although, to be fair, I'm kind of cheating because I know exactly where he is. Just need to find where the hole spawned. Uh, which, again, is going to be in this area here somewhere. There it is. We'll go kill Gollus. He drops a ring every single time you kill him now, so it's just a matter of finding a ring with um, the harmonious prefix or, um, you know, impenetrable. Something something you want, something nice. Um, I do need to remind myself that the sigil of consumption is not the Inquisitor's seal. <laughs> Alright, so we'll just do a quick little little farming run here at the end. Um, if if you're one of those people who's only really interested in, in watching the playthrough and not in the farming sections, uh, there's not going to be any more playthrough, as it were. Um, Doombolt on gloves. Okay. Level 58. We're going to hang on to that. That's plus two to Albrecht's Aether Ray as well, so I'm probably going to be wearing that. Here we go. Unfortunately, the rock has spawned in the worst possible place for this one, just there. So, we'll have to go around. Not a big deal. Just makes it a little bit longer. Okay, the Den of the Lost. Gollus' house. Knock, knock. Let's go kill him. All right. Now I'm going to clear this area. I'm not expecting too much in the way of, of trouble from him, but um, you never know. He's he's not a a pushover by any means. Can do a decent amount of damage. I say as my health bar doesn't even budge. Oh, oh, it moved. I saw that. Vampiric of Psyche. Okay, so this is somehow even worse than the one I already have. Alright, I'll probably kill him a few times off camera. Um, the other thing I'm going to go do, Eastern Gloves could be good as well. We're getting some really nice stuff now. Um, the two set for this is 5% OA. So I'm going to hang on to those as well. Um, ugh. Just absolute ugh. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go kill the uh, um, Ethereal Abomination again. And uh, see if I can't get something better than this. I'm probably not going to. Um, of the Abomination is probably the best I'm going to get. Because the the Pulsing Shard does have a an Aether bias for the, um, for the Affix as it rolls. So... The chances of me getting anything that's not Aether are low to begin with. But why not? Basically. Can't think of any reason not to. Got a little bit of extra time. I guess I could reset and go kill Gollus again. Um, but I think I'm going to do that in between episodes. Or most likely I'll 
not do it. <laughs> Play Last Epoch instead. We'll see what happens. I definitely should go and do it. The, uh, the resistances on my gear are... I mean, everything's capped, but it's, it's not great. What do we get there? Saboteurs of Spines. So that's... The Saboteurs prefix is uh, plus two to Fire Strike, plus two to Shadow Strike. And, uh, yeah, that's... That's not very good, but we can sell it. Alright, let's go say hello to the Glowing Cow. And, uh, make some steak. So these guys are all still level 54, 55, so they are scaling with us at this point. Um, let's kill us a cow. So once he puts his plumes up, after that I'm expecting the next thing to be the Sunder. He's just dead instead. Okay. Let's have a look at this. So, Elemental Seal. Don't think we're converting Elemental to anything. Nope, doesn't look like it. But it is a damage proc. Aggressive is going to be the 4% offensive ability. So this isn't amazing. Um, but it's certainly not bad either. So the Abomination is the Vitality and, and some extra Aether damage. No, it's not Vitality, it's just the Aether. We're also getting some Spirit from Mystic there. I think I'm going to keep the uh, the one I have. Um, but regardless, I'm going to end the episode here. So uh, thank you all very much for watching. See you in the next one, and goodbye for now.